Hey guys, so I'm really excited to show you my favorite Canadagoose coat. It's the Canadagoose Trenton Parka. This coat is one of the most luxurious coats on the market and is my personal favorite in terms of style, functionality, and just other aspects of the jacket. I'll show the 360 of the coat for you guys. So it has a slim fit to it, obviously. The arms are pretty slim, the shoulders are nice and slim, which is perfect for a slim guy like me or someone that has a slim build. This comes from the Bronta line, and they're probably one of the most luxurious Canadagoose coats out there. One reason they're so nice is because the exterior is made of 100% Laura Piana wool finish. So it's their storm system, which means it's waterproof, it's pretty wind resistant, and it's good at regulating your temperature. So these jackets are downlined, of course, because they're Canada Goose. And so they'll keep you just as warm as all the other Canada Goose, but they won't keep you too warm when you don't want it. So like when you're inside and stuff, it's not great to have, you know, don't want to overheat. And the wool finish not only is great for, you know, the water, water protection and wind protection but it's also great temperature regulating and the main thing that i really really like about it is just it feels incredibly luxurious so it's just a super soft it feels like cashmere you're just it just it looks nicer in my opinion the wool finish on a coat rather than the other exteriors on canada goose coats but i could i could try to describe it but it's just something that you have to feel it just feels incredible you know these these coats retail for about eighteen hundred dollars they're really expensive but in my opinion, like this top of the nice Canada Goose coat, the lower piano finish is just is a great aspect of the jacket. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of other great nice features of it. It has the can the lower piano cashmere blend on the cuff on the cuffs and around the neck right here, which just feels incredible on your neck. Um, the main thing that I really really like about this jacket is just it's a parka and it's got this great minimalistic design and style to it. It looks really professional. It looks really styled. It's this slim fit. It looks like a parka. It just looks like a really fancy, nice looking parka. I really like how they don't even have any much details on the front. They have the two pockets, which are pretty sub hidden down here. They even hide the buttons just to keep it that minimalistic look. There's no patch on this jacket anywhere. It has these shoulder patches here, or these shoulder, I guess shoulder patches right here. They give it just a slightly more modern style look, I guess, to it. The fur is another really nice aspect on it. So when you get when you buy in Canada Coast that retail for like eighteen hundred or from the Bronto line, you're gonna get some of the nicest coyote fur ruffs on the hood trim. As you can see, the fur is probably it's pretty large, so it's larger than most other fur trims. And you can't tell exactly because you can't feel it, but the fur the feeling of the fur just feels a lot softer than the other Canada Goose fur trims, which you know in general they as you'll notice they do feel really soft, but this one just feels even finer and nicer. So they have a storm flap on the top with these buttons here. You can snap that up if you want to hide the zipper. Um, for the hood, you can remove the hood, which I personally like a lot because it just gives this like really sleek, slender look. If you have a nice hat or you have something, some scarf you want to wear with it, I go for it. Or you want to wear it opened, it just looks. I think it looks really great without the hood too. The hood doesn't take away from it, but you you go with a different style if you wear it without the hood. So the hood can be removed, the fur can be removed. You can zip it up about to about here. So it's not going to give you full protection from the wind. But you can close the hood in closer to your face. You can There's a drawstring that can draw the hood again. The hood and the fur closer to your head as well. Another thing that makes it just really nice is they have the inside lining. The inside lining in most Canada Goose coats you'll notice feels pretty nice. But this one, I don't know what material they use necessarily. But it just feels, it feels really silky. It's, it's something you wouldn't notice until you... Put it on and compare it to a different Canada Goose coat, but the arms, like my arms right now, just feel like they're wrapped in this super soft, silky material. It just feels luxurious. It adds to the whole component. It adds a component to the jacket and completes. It's like every little aspect of this jacket is incredibly well crafted, well designed. All the features on it just feel extremely luxurious. They compromise nothing in this jacket, and it really shows with the inside lining feeling super nice, the outside exterior feeling divine. And the fur trim just feeling again incredibly nice and soft. So this jacket not only is really practical, you know, it's probably a TI4, so it'll keep you warm in most all conditions. It's just it's really practical. It's really warm, of course, as all Canada Goose coats are. It's really really well designed and well made, and that's some of the reasons why it's, in my opinion, the nicest Canada Goose coat out there. Maybe one downside is just some functionality things. There's one Canada Goose coat that I like more for its functionality. It's also from the Bronto line. It's the DePaul Go Bomber. I won't get into that because I'll show another video. But 
that one and the few functionality things like the hand worn pockets, the tunnel hood, and some other things I like more about it functionally. But this one I definitely like most based on the style. And I'm okay sacrificing some of the functionality for when you have a coat that, in my opinion, just looks as good as this one does. So that's the review of the Canada Goose Trenton Parka. I hope you liked it, guys. Check out my website if you're interested in coats like this. I have selling pre-owned regular Canada Goose coats, some Bronto lines, some other rare ones. You won't find them anywhere else in a pretty good deal because they're pre-owned, some they're new. And Canada Goose coats, as you guys know, are pretty expensive. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button and subscribe because it really helps me keep and make helps me to keep make these videos because um, you guys' support is what keeps me going. And so if you want more videos like this, subscribe and like. It always helps. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.